Hello everyone. So today we're going to make a little shamrock earring. <laughs> Doesn't exactly match because these are pearls and those are emeralds. But if you have matching beads, <laughs> I don't at the moment, I don't, um, probably won't any time in the very near future either. So, these are four millimeter, these are eight millimeter, just so you know. Um, yeah, my, my cat jumped up here, so I'm all discombobulated. I'm trying to keep it so that is, uh, there we go. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, so. What we're going to do is pick up a seed bead. I'm using 15 O's and 11 O's seed beads and 4 millimeter pearls. Uh, I'm using 8 pound fire line because that's all I have at the moment in smoke. And I'm using a wire guardian, a wire guard. Uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Alright, so you should have four pearls, four seed beads, 15 O's on your thread. I'm going to tie them into a couple knots because just kind of makes it easier to work. If it's tied tightly, mm. just make sure you're on the same side of your seed bead there. All right, one more, and then we're gonna get started working on our little four-leaf clover earring part. Okay, so I am going to go through oops, the next pearl and pull my knot in there, hopefully. I don't want to pull too far because then I'll end up with it on the other side. So I'm going to pick up five 15 O's. And I'm doing it this way because I don't want them to bunch or like pop up. I'm going to go back into my, oops, pearl if I can get past my knot. Hopefully I can. There we go. And that's going to bring them around the top of there. But now I'm going to add another seed bead. I'm going to go through. Actually, what I'm going to do. No, I'll, I'll, I'll add that in the next next one. Um, I'm going to go through all five of those seed beads that are around my pearl already. And I'm going to pick up another 15-0 seed bead. The cat was up here. So that's why everything is all bunched together. Okay, then I'm going to go back through my pearl. And through my seed bead and my next pearl. And then... I'm going to pick up five 15 O's. Go back through my pearl. But this time, now I want you to see something with these wire guards. Hopefully my camera will focus. Sometimes that little 
seam there is open and your thread will come through it. So you just have to you have to just squeeze it just a little tiny bit with your pliers because if you squeeze it too much um, it'll end up going collapsing on itself. So what I did there was I just spread it out a little bit. Don't want it spread out all the way, just a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up a 15 O seed bead and I'm going to go through the next seed bead that's going around my pearl. Then I'm going to pick up my wire guardian, I think. My wire guard. Uh, wait a minute, let me see something. So I did this a little different. Yeah, I'm going to pick up my wire guard. Now, if you're using ear wires that have like a just a closed circle, you'd want to add your uh, ear wire now. I have the ones that open, so I'll worry about adding the ear wire later. So I'm going to make sure my my thread goes in that spot there. See. Now I'm going to go through the last seed bead that is around my pearl. And that'll pull your wire guard down. And then I'm going to pick up another 15 O seed bead. Now I want to reinforce this, so, and then we're going to go through my pearl, your pearl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right back up those two seed beads, up through my wire guard. through my wire guard and back down those two seed beads. And if I can't get them all at once, then I do them separately. You don't want to go into there. There we go. I can't get that last seed bead, so I'm going to make sure my, my thread's going in there. And then I'm going to go through that seed bead. And through my pearl, then through the seed bead and my pearl. And then I'm going to pick up my net, my five seed beads, fifteen O's. Go back through my pearl. Pick up another 15 O. Go back through my seed beads. Whoopsie. So I'm doing it this way so that they stay close to the pearl because I tried it adding seven at a time and it made it like pull up far away from the pearl so and I'm gonna pick up another I went through all five that are surrounding my pearl already I'm gonna pick up another 15 O go through my pearl and pull it tight and I'm going to go through my seed bead and my pearl. Pick up another five fifteen O's. I'm using Toho, sorry. This one is a little odd shaped, this pearl, but that's all right. Go through my pearl, pick up 
pick up a 15 0. Yeah, pick up a 15 0. <laughs> and then go through my seed beads. And since I'm down here, actually, oh, I have to go through my other three seed beads before I pick up my uh, last seed bead there. I'm going to go back through my pearl. Okay, so since I'm down here, I'm going to add my little stem. Now, what did I do here? This one, two, three, four, four, it's either four or five, uh, Eleven O's, sorry. Let me make sure that's right. Yeah. Then I'm gonna pick up a fifteen O and I'm going to go back up those eleven O's that I just added. I'm going to go through this seed bead that's in the middle of my pearls here. Try not to get wrapped around anybody. Here we go. Then I'm going to reinforce that little tail there. That little stem. Just makes it a little sturdier. Go back through my 11 O's. And through this pearl. So, I made these two-sided double-sided. That doesn't look right. Oh, you know why? I didn't go up the very next one. I went... Uh. Sorry, folks. I didn't go up the very next one. I went up the one next to it. That's why it has a little bend in it on the other one. Sorry about that. There we go. I'll be back when I rethread my needle because this takes time. <laughs> wow, well, that's a first. It went right in. All right, so now I have my eight, my fifteen o seed bead on there. I'm gonna skip that next 11 o and go up these three 11 o's that's where I went wrong the last time because that what that's going to do is give it a little bit of a curve down at the bottom there see it it's not much but it's a little bit all right now I'm going to go through my seed bead on the opposite side there because I just went through my pearl before I didn't go through my seed bead. The seed bead that's in between the, t the two pearls, see right there. Try not to get caught on anybody. As I pull my thread through. All right, now I'm gonna reinforce. See, gives it that little teeny tiny bend. It's not much, but 
it mattered to me. So now I'm going to go through, back down through all of them. just to reinforce them. Here we go. Okay, so now what I was saying before is, since I am down here, I'm gonna go through that sage bead, through the pearl, I think. starting to run out of thread here, and go through that next pearl, no, uh, sorry, next seed bead in between the pearls. Now I'm going to pick up a seed bead, a 15 -0, sorry, a three millimeter bicone, if I could find two that I like, because I'm doing, I'm making it two-sided. And it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it, but now I'm going to go, doesn't matter which side I'm on here, uh, pick up another 15 -0. go through this pearl, no, through this seed bead and the pearl, sorry, go through this seed bead and the pearl. Okay, that's going to pull it together. Then we're going to go through that next seed bead in between the two pearls. You could have actually added this beforehand if you wanted to. I didn't think about it until just now. Um, pick up another 15 0, go through that bicone again. The bicon. Pick up another 15 0 and go through the seed bead that's in the middle of the pearls there. But this time I want to come out on the other side of the my work if I can. because we're going to add another bicone on the other side. See, that pops it in the center there. If I could hold it in my hand, it would be great. Something is not working right there. Now I'm going to pick up a 15 -0, another bicone, another 15 -0. Come on. I'm going to go across into this 15 -0 in between those two pearls. Now I'm going to go through my pearl and my seed bead. If you can't get through both, just go through the pearl and then go through the seed bead. Try to stay on that side of your work. Here we go. Pick up another 15-0. Go back through my seat, my bicone. I don't think I'm going in the right direction, but that's okay. Pick up another 
15 now. And go through. Go through this seed bead in that direction because I'm trying to meet up with that other tail there. So this seed bead and the pearl if I can get it. There we go. That centers your little spy cone. Then through this 15 0. Getting tight now because that 15 all has been gone through quite a few times. Now I'm going to tie this again. Put two knots in it. I'm going to make sure it's going between that. Let's see there. Right next to the, the stem. There we go. One more time. And then I'm going to go back through the pearl. This pearl here. Pull my knot in and cut my thread. There we go. Now if you have a thread burner, you can burn your thread. I don't have one. So I just use my little scissors and get as close as I can. There we go. We have our little, oops, we have our little thing in there. Now we just take our, so I have this, this stem facing that way. I'm going to make sure that this stem is facing that way. And open my earring. Put my little element on. And close my earring. There you have it. A pair of four leaf clover earrings. That wasn't too hard. And it kind of matches the pendant. <laughs> it would match if you had green of the same green of two size pearls. So I thought they came out cute. I'll show you what they look like next to the pendant. It's not too bad because, you know, let me lift this up. There you go. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Talk to you all soon. Bye for now.